Daddy, can you show me how to do this? Oh yeah, it's easy. Hmm. Wait. Let's see. What? Oh. Oh. Daddy, how long have you not showered in? Not that long ago. I heard if you don't shower, you have a lot of germs and bacteria on you. Really? I don't see it. I'm gonna go see if anybody in the Rice Squad can help me. In the meanwhile, you should go take a bath. Hey. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Oh, hey Ryan. Can you tell me what happens if you don't take a shower? Absolutely. This actually reminds me of a time that Gus didn't shower for a few days. Do you want to know what happened? Yeah. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hiya, little gators. <laughs> I'm over here. You're probably wondering why I'm hiding. Well, Mama wants me to take a bath. But I decided I'm never taking a bath again. I'm not coming out of this bush no matter what. Oh, hiya, guys. Oh, hey, Gus. What are you? Oh, Gus, I don't want to be rude. Take a shower, dude. Aw, oh, you stink. No way. I haven't taken a bath in a week, and I feel great. I, uh, uh, hi. Why don't you come with me to Dr. Ions for a checkup? I'm out of here. Too stinky for me, dude. Gus, honey, come on in. It's time for your bath. Ah! Uh, okay, I'll come to Dr. Ion's. There's got to be a lot of places to hide in the lab. God, that sucks. I think one of my egg experiments must have soured. That's not your experiments, Dr. Ion. Gus isn't bathing anymore. Yeah, I'm never taking a bath or... <gasps> again. But Gus, everyone has to bathe. Why? You know, that's a really good question. To answer, let's get ionic. Every day, our skin produces oil which keeps our skin healthy and soft. For this experiment, I'll be using milk which will represent oil. Next, I'll demonstrate what dust and dirt do with this food coloring. If this gross stuff builds up for too long, it can become a good place for bacteria and other living things to start growing which can make us smelly and even sick. <coughs> Fortunately, soap has the amazing ability to pull apart fats and oils. This milk has lots of fat in it. When water touches it, nothing happens. But with soap, Whoa! the soap pulls apart the fat. I love science! See, if we look real close at soap, we see that its smallest building block has two interesting ends. One end grabs water, and the other grabs fats and oils. These two ends pull away from each other, pulling apart the fats and oils, breaking up the bacteria so we can safely wash it down the sink. Okay, soap is pretty neat. But still, what's the worst that could happen if I stop bathing? Lots, Gus! First, you'll get really smelly. Yes, our bodies make sweat to keep us cool. Sweat doesn't really smell on its own, but when it's mixed with bacteria, it can get a little stinky. But I haven't noticed me being smelly. Well, that's because you're around you all the time. Our noses get used to the smells we smell a lot. But when you run into your friends, they'll definitely notice that you've stopped bathing. Hmm, well, maybe if I keep close to my gummies, my friends will smell them instead of me. <laughs> Well, avoiding bad smells isn't the only reason to take baths. Really? Yeah! Did you know every time you bathe, you're scrubbing off layers of dead skin? What? Zombie skin? Yeah! Our bodies are constantly building new skin. If we don't wash off the old skin, it builds up, and you can make your skin look gross! Mm, I don't want zombie skin. Yeah! And the dead skin on your head would always make you itchy. We call this dandruff. Remember that oil that I mentioned earlier? Well, too much of it can make our skin greasy and gross and make our hair matted and hard as a rock. Oh no! Uh, my hair is already hard! Oh wait! That's just my head. Also, 
oil can get trapped in the little holes in our skin. If we don't wash it out, those holes can turn into pimples. Uh, uh, well, that's another thing, Gus. Remember those bacteria you mentioned earlier? The ones that stick to oil and sweat? Well, if we have any cuts in our skin, those bacteria can get inside and give us an infection. Infection? Infection? Not that! Uh, what's an infection? Well, an infection is what our body does to try to fight off the thing that's making us sick. Whoa! Whoa, shiny! Holy moly, look at all these germs. Can you help me out? Oh, cool, thank you! It's cool that our body does this, but it can leave us feeling hot, sick, and tired. That's why it's important to wash regularly, so we can clean any small cuts we may have before bacteria can get in. Okay, that does it. I want a bath as soon as possible! Well, I do have this bottle of soap. And I do have this faucet. Then it's bath time? Wow, I feel great! I'm gonna take a bath every day! <laughs> you actually don't have to bathe every day, Gus. Our bodies produce a temporary shield to keep us from getting too gross. As long as we take a bath every couple of days, we'll stay nice and healthy and clean. Wow! If we stop getting in the tub, dirty and bacteria could start building up. Our heads would get itchy and dry, and our skin would get zombified. You might grow lots of pimples, which aren't nearly cute as our dimples. Fortunately, if we hop in the shower, soap has the amazing power. To pull apart oils and fats, and to make bacteria go, oh rats, I'm gonna go show mama my shiny new look. Thanks Peck and Mr. Dr. Ion. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, bye y'all.